Hey there, everybody. I'm Chris Hazard, your resident Crucible Boomer. People still say Boomer, right? Anyways, this intro will be a little longer as I wanted to share a little bit about myself so you guys can kind of get an idea of who I am. So here we go. I stream on Twitch sometimes, basically whenever time permits, as I'm a father of a little girl and have a full-time job with crazy hours. So yeah, you can mostly catch me on the weekends, late at night, usually after midnight Eastern. I'm pushing 40 years old and I've been a competitive gamer my entire life and I consider myself definitely above average at FPS games. I don't have the reflexes of a cheetah like I used to, so it's really easy for me to get frustrated at my performance when I don't win my ones. I can't tell you the amount of times people pop in my Twitch chat after slapping my cheeks six ways from Sunday and lurk in my stream to see my reaction to losing, and are actually surprised when they don't hear a salty old man, but someone that's cheerful and friendly. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys my tips on how I keep my cool while playing Destiny 2 PvP, and let me preface this by saying I absolutely love Destiny. No really, I've bought in every collectible, shirt, whatever you can get I have it, I'm a huge fan. Number 1. Stop taking quick play seriously. Yeah, I'm talking to you, the guy way in the back hopping up and down chaining mountaintop shots. This isn't a $20,000 tournament, but okay, but for real. I've been there. I've raged at the bizarre stuff that happens. My wife even said to me, why do you play this game if it pisses you off so much? So once I understood why things are happening and that they're all out of my control, my gaming sessions became a lot more relaxed and I even started having fun again, despite the amount of cheaters that are plaguing PvP right now. Number two, understand the net code. Another wonderful guy named Chris over at Battle Nonsense made a video a while ago showing how terrible the connections are in Destiny 2. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. The basic way to explain it is this. What you see isn't what the other player sees. Sure, this is normal for online games, but it's even more amplified in Destiny. Ever been shot around a wall or a corner? Yeah, so have I. Hundreds of times. Ever been melee lunge from Narnia? Yeah, same here. Most of the weapons in Destiny 2 use hitscan, which means if you hit them on your screen, they're getting hit on their screen, no matter what, providing they have a somewhat stable internet connection. You need to understand, there's nothing you can do about it, and you just have to accept it. Congrats, you're two steps closer to not losing your cool when you die from that titan meleeing you from Mars when you're playing Javelin 4. Number 3. Bullets Curve Destiny 2 has some of the most insane bullet magnetism I've ever seen. Bullets literally curve towards players, and you can pull off some of the most crazy shots people have ever witnessed because of it. Ever shoot two feet to the dude's left and you get a headshot? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, it's not lag, it's a built-in mechanic, and there's even mods to enhance this. And guess what? Nothing you can do about it either. So there's no reason to let it get to you. You see a trend here? Number 4. Flinch sucks. You'd think that if you hit a sniper in the face, it would be harder for them to hit you, right? Well, if you thought that, you'd be wrong. In Destiny 2, Bungie has flinched set up in a way that your first shot will take their reticle off target, and the next shot will put the reticle right on your face. Don't believe me? Look how my reticle is below my target, and I wait for them to shoot me, and the second they do, I pull the trigger and get a headshot kill. So the next time you challenge a sniper, always keep that in mind when they pull off that incredible shot. Number 5. Play private matches with friends. The most fun I have in PvP is when I'm playing pickups or 3v3s with friends. With rules everyone agrees to and follows, it does wonders for your state of mind because certain aspects are under your control. And when the game is over, you can go chat with your buddies and laugh about the crazy plays you or they made. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Destiny 2 is wonderful as it is, it is just a game. So don't let things that you cannot control ruin your day and put you in a bad mood. If this video helped you in some way, feel free to hit the like button and consider sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.